Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for June 17th, 2020. So let's get into it here. Let's see what we have. Okay. We have Rose Quartz and her child. This goes very much into all the healing that we're talking about right now. There, you know what, there are so many people out there who behave the way that they do because of something they have experienced in childhood. Uh, I'll give a quick example here. I was out, you know, it's a, a trail story because that's kind of all I do with my life. <laughs> that and making, I just made some turkey chili. I don't know, but like, that's about it. But, you know, I was out on the trail and there was this mountain biking class. The trail was super narrow. As an aside, if I, it was a kid's class, if I was a parent and I knew that those teachers were taking them out on that trail, I would be livid. I would be, it's not safe. Nope, nope, nope. It's a huge drop off, too many rocks. These kids were too small on these bikes. This isn't going to be a quick example after all. Sorry about it. Um, Cause I'm ranting a little bit, I guess, but like they would have to go over these really jagged rocks. I mean, that was more like an advanced writer's kind of trail. Okay. Uh, so they had this class out. And the guy comes up, they have a teacher in front, teacher in back, guy comes up behind me. And quite frankly, I get sick of having to step out of the way of mountain bikers on the trail. Um, it's just kind of Colorado culture that the mountain bikers own the trails. They just do. And you're supposed to not speak up, you're not supposed to say anything. So I've just gotten used to like having my hike interrupted every 10 minutes to stand aside and let somebody struggle, usually struggling. <laughs> I love you guys, okay? Like good for you for doing that. I can't keep from wobbling on a beach cruiser on flat asphalt okay so good for you but I always have to step aside and this guy comes on by and I'm just waiting on him and instead of saying thank you for me stepping aside he goes nine more behind me and he had such a tone like you better get used to it sure enough here come <laughs> there's one instructor and and seven wobbly kids trying to come down this trail and it stressed me out because I'm watching these children going if your mothers and fathers knew that they had you out here oh my gosh Again, these kids are too small to have been on this particular trail. If you had older kids out there, they've been training for a while, okay, but nah. And then the guy comes up behind, in front of the teacher that's in the back, and he's like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and just kind of like, if you're laughing, you're not sorry, okay? <laughs> like, you're not sorry. And then they ended up stopping on the trail. The whole thing probably took, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe 15 minutes of just standing there while they took over the entire trail. When I went by them, I started to set my boundaries and I'm going by them, I'm just like walking past them and they're not moving. Uh, I went by, I said to the final um, instructor, I'm like, thank you. And he goes, yeah, okay. So the reason why I just gave you that huge, long, stupid example really happened, but here we go, this is why, is because that sense of entitlement, okay? Why did they think that they could just take over the whole trail? Why does anybody ever think that they're the only ones who deal with traffic? They're the only ones who get sick. They're the only ones who have a bad day. They're the only ones that, you know what I'm saying? And then we're teaching the kids this. The one thing that those children were not being taught that day was trail etiquette. Nope. <laughs> they were not being taught trail etiquette. And now those kids are going to grow up to think that everyone just needs to get out of their way. They're being taught this sense of entitlement. But it was clear to me that there has to be some way that those two guys were raised to make them think like, well, this is what I'm doing. The only thing that matters right now is what I'm doing and how I feel about things. You feel me? So where in our inner child have we either had to, we've been trained to put up with people like that, or we start to act that way a little bit ourselves, <laughs> right? Where, where we don't give enough love to ourselves and therefore there's no love to give other people. And if we just tapped into that love, could that situation have been a little different? If that guy was tapped into love, could he have been like, hey there, thanks so much. Uh, just so you know, there's a class coming behind us and they're a little bit slow. I'm so sorry. If he had said that to me, I still would have been like, man, I'm going to be here a minute. <laughs> but I would have had a much better, you know, feeling about it. But it was different when it was like, you're nothing, get out of my way. And you better get used to it because here comes this whole class. Do you see the difference there? So where can we, you know, love ourselves more so that we have more capacity for understanding and love and good communication with other people, right? Let me end this with a good example of a mountain biker. I don't, I don't run into this often. 
was on that same trail on a different day coming up this time. And I see this guy on a mountain bike. He's flying down and there is nowhere for me to go. There's nowhere for me to go. And I'm like, ugh. And he stopped, pulled his bike up on the side of the mountain and he just looked at me and I was confused. I was like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? And he's like, come on, come on, it's okay. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you actually pulling over for me? And he kind of laughed. He goes, I know, most people don't, you know, they don't listen to trail etiquette at all. And I was like, thank you so much. I was so touched. Like I was so touched that he was being so kind. And he actually said, well, this is how it should be. Nobody should be plowing towards you. You're trying to enjoy your hike. I'm like, yeah, and I, I could get hurt. <laughs> like, I can't tell you how many times like I've had this like, Ugh, because I come around the corner and here comes somebody who's not controlling their speed, you know, that sort of thing. So just to give you the positive, there are good people out there, right? <laughs> of course there are. But again, the message still stands. Where can we nurture that, that love within us so that we're a little kinder to others? Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.